Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to explain how to memorize amino acids, three letter abbreviations and one letter abbreviations. It's not that easy because many amino acids, take a look at uh, for example first five, start with A. So we cannot just designate one letter code A for all five of them. I'm going to give you my mnemonic technique how to memorize these abbreviations and my first rule would be don't try to memorize the whole table in one lesson. So I'm going to break this table in two or three groups and we're going to learn them in two or three lessons and not in one lesson otherwise you just would forget everything you learn. So we don't need this part of the amino acid table and we are going to concentrate only on the amino acids that start with the letter A. The first amino acid is alanine and true letter code is ALA. It is easy to memorize, but as you see, many other amino acids, we cannot just use three letter code. For example, asparagine, ASP, and aspartic acid is also ASP. So even with three letter code, this is not that simple. So how we are going to memorize that, for example, for alanine, the three letter abbreviation is going to be ALA and one letter abbreviation is going to be A. Because alanine doesn't have any conflict of the first three letters with any other amino acid, we just use first three letters to specify three letters code and how we are going to memorize that one letter code is going to be A. Take a look, in any other amino acid that start with A, we have A only happens once in three letter code and only in alanine it happens twice. That's why one letter code is going to be A. Arginine also doesn't have any three letter code conflict with any other amino acid, so we use ARG to specify three letter code and as for the R, how we are going to memorize? Because letter A is already taken and this amino acid start from the A, so we have to use second letter that specifies this amino acid, which is going to be R. So we are using R to specify arginine. And as for the asparagine, we can use three letters, first three letters, but they are going to be a conflict with aspartic acid. So here is my mnemonic technique, which one uh, amino acid to choose for first three letters, where the aspartic acid is going to be ASP or asparagine is going to be ASP. Take a look, aspartic acid consists of two words. Two say people win fight over one person, so ASP would stand for aspartic acid, ASP would be three letter code for aspartic acid and one letter code comes from this D here, so one letter code is going to be D for aspartic acid and if we return to asparagine, three letter code would come from these two letters and this N here, so ASN and one letter code is going to be N which is third letter in this three letter abbreviation. So this is how we memorize it. N would be one letter code for asparagine. About 50 years ago when first uh, databases for amino acids have been built, uh, actually for proteins, at that time asparagine or aspartic acid, it was very hard to define with amino acid asparagine or aspartic acid. Special three letter and one letter code have been invented and the first two letters of course comes from the from this A S here and A S here. And X stand for the unknown, like X files. So A S X three letter code for asparagine or aspartic acid when we are not sure. And B you can memorize it because A is already taken 
and here we have to choose between two amino acid. B is the second letter of the alphabet, so two, and this is why we choose letter B. Again, this is just a mnemonic technique and not scientific method. Now let's check if you have been able to memorize all five this amino acid, three letter and one letter abbreviation. So let's start, for example, with aspartic acid. Do you remember what is a three letter abbreviation? For three letters ASP, we can find in aspartic acid and in asparagine, but two take over one. So first three letters ASP would be in aspartic acid for three letter abbreviation ASP. What is going to be one letter abbreviation? Do you remember that it comes from this D in acid? So one letter abbreviation is going to be D. And what about alanine? Do you remember three letter abbreviation? It doesn't have any conflict with any other amino acid, so we use first three letters. It's going to be A L A. And what is the one letter abbreviation? You see in three letter abbreviation, A happens two times. So one letter abbreviation is going to be A. And for example, asparagine or aspartic acid, do you remember that first two letters just comes from A S here. So A S and the third letter is going to be X because we are not sure whether this is going to be asparagine or aspartic acid. And do you remember because we have two amino acids here and B is the second letter of the alphabet and also you may remember plan B. So one letter abbreviation is going to be B. And what about arginine here? Because there is no three letter conflict. So first three letters is just going to be A, R, G. And one letter abbreviation. Do you remember what is going to be? Because A is already taken. So this is going to be second letter. So it's going to be R. So this is going to be one letter abbreviation. And as for the asparagine, you remember that first three letters ASP is already taken by aspartic acid, two takes over one. So in this case, it's going to be AS and this N here. So ASN. And what is the one letter abbreviation? It's going to be this N. So two took over one for three letter abbreviation, but asparagine won the case to use one letter abbreviation, which is found in three letter abbreviation. Unlike aspartic acid, where we have three letter abbreviation ASP and D for one letter abbreviation, which comes from this D here. I hope you have been able also give three letters and one letter abbreviation to all these five amino acids. And my advice is going to be, don't try to learn all abbreviation in one lesson. Break the whole table of amino acid in two, three or four lists and try to memorize them one list a day. And before you will memorize a new list, try to recall one letter and three letter abbreviations for amino acids from the previous lesson and then learn a new list. As Russian proverb says, repetition is the mother of learning. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.